All combination and system boilers require their system pressure to be topped up with mains cold water at some stage throughout the life cycle of the boiler. This can be indicated by either your heating system not heating up efficiently or the pressure gauge on the front of the boiler indicating that the needle is in the red as opposed to the green area. There are two methods of topping up your system dependent on the type of boiler that you own and also which option your installer may have chosen for you. The first is the internal filling key, the second is the external filling hose. Firstly, make sure that both ends of the hose are securely attached to both of the valves. The hose should be located close to the boiler and in most cases normally beneath the kitchen sink. Before we begin to repressurise the boiler however, make sure that your boiler is actually switched off. Dependent on how the installer has chosen to install the filling hose, there may be a valve at either end, such as this hose here, or a valve at only one end. Next we need to open both valves to allow water to fill from our cold main into our heating system. You can actually hear water filling into the boiler there and that tells us that the system is actually filling up. Continue to fill your system until the black needle begins to raise up and we want to get that needle into the green area at about the 1.5 bar. What we then want to do is isolate the valve Isolate the second valve if you have one. This makes sure that we've got no more water filling into the heating system because what we don't want to happen of course is for the needle to keep on going up. We then want to release the one end of the hose. Okay. Now you can expect a bit of water to come out but as long as it does stop after a few moments you might want a bit of a rag there just to, uh, to, to mop it up. Um, we can disconnect it. We can then replace our valve covers and that's now done. If you do find that you've overpressurized the system and that your black needle is now past the green and into the red, don't panic, it's not a problem. The easiest way is to actually release a bit of pressure, go to your nearest radiator and just bleed a bit of air or water out of the radiator.